folks. It is your daily dose of me. How are you guys today? How are you feeling? How is your brain feeling? How is your heart feeling? How is your body feeling? How is your belly feeling? How is everything feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel with my fingers, you know, but some people might feel with their forehead. No, I'm joking. Anyway, you know the point. You get my joke, hopefully. I'm hoping. Um, so, it's that kind of weather again. It's cruddy out. Getting chillier and chillier. But, uh, I kind of wanted to touch on routine. Um, I've had the same routine for a really long time. <laughs> I used to have a routine that involved getting up. Oh man, I missed my 190 miles, darn it. Um, I used to have a, uh, a routine of getting up, taking care of my kiddo, putting him back down for a nap, an hour and a half after he got up, whatever. Um, that's a whole other story. And then I would get ready for work and then I would ride a bicycle eight miles. And I would work for 12 hours and then I would get back on that bicycle and ride another eight miles home. Um, no matter the weather, no matter the day, no matter what, I was always riding a bicycle. Um, but that was my routine. Then I got this thing that I'm sitting in. I call it Carmine. Not because it's mine, partially because it's mine, but because she's red. She's a deep cherry. Um, and my routine went from always physical activity, always just the heart of a horse, to 292 pounds because I sat for 35 minutes in my vehicle while I drove to work and this guy must be in a real hurry because he is all up in my backside wanting to go somewhere I don't know where but I'm doing 60 so what the heck dude um but yeah so anyway that was my routine get up knew that I had to be to work at a certain time, 9.35 at the latest, um, calculated for traffic, left my house at 8.45, and sat here for 35 minutes, and got to work and sat there for 12 hours, and then got in my car and sat there for 35 minutes, and there's a few times that I nodded off, kind of what um, our buddy um, Todd was talking about yesterday, there was a few times where my eyes got heavy, you know, and I'm like, ah, rolled down the window. I had never gotten into another lane or anything like that, but there was a couple times where I was like, ooh, and I had pulled over, and I would just pull over on the side of, right on the side of the road. Uh, put my flashers on, because I have an overhead flasher. Put that on and just, I'd nod for like 10, 15 minutes. Did it help? No. Luckily, I was only going another 20 minutes or another few miles, and I was good. Um, but yeah, the routine was that. And then I moved locations I moved and I ended up doing a different routine where same thing get up rush to work now I have the new routine and you guys probably already know this those of you that know have been listening to me ramble for the past 15 days um, <laughs> 15 days um, those that have been listening to me ramble for the past 15 days know my new routine um, I get up in the morning I go to the gym, and then I take a shower, eat breakfast, go to work, come home. During the day, I work on my job, and I work on Hunter stuff, whatever. But this morning at 6.17, my eyes went bloop, and I was awake. And I'm like, wow, I'm conditioning my body by waking up every morning to wake up. It's no longer sleep until my alarm goes off. You know what I mean? My alarm goes off and I'm usually already kind of awake. Half, half awake, you know? But the routine of it is conditioning my brain and my body to cooperate and sync. It's, that's kind of hard. The brain's kind of detached. I'm still wondering. I'm going to go for testing and see if I even have one. Um, and I'm not sure if I contain something up here except maybe some rocks. I hear some rattling occasionally. But, um... Uh, maybe that's you know, 
two little atoms up there, two little two little uh, neurons and atoms up there, or whatever. They'll bounce around eventually. They'll bump each other, right? And I'll have a thought. <laughs> anyway, but um, the routine is is changing me physically. I don't know if you guys saw my story. Um, my routine used to be caffeine, 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 sugar, 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 eat, 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 and now it's caffeine a little bit caffeine with my breakfast and I eat another meal I'm finding intermittent fasting is a nice thing to do and that's a nice thing to add to my routine but figure out a routine because one of the what think about it what are the one of the first things Jeff talks about in the entre blueprint and a lot of things is discipline discipline equals freedom people would think well discipline means you're in trouble no this one does not mean you're in trouble this one means it's a structured environment structure you have a set routine so how's your routine is it all over the place or are you set to a certain routine every day it's not that routine frees up so many other things because you also know when you have a routine it's like okay I'm gonna do this now it's not like well should I do that I don't know do I have time to do that it's time for that and then it's time for that and then it's time for that. There's no decision making. It becomes a habit to where you're not, you don't have to think about it. It just happens. The alarm goes off, I get up, I don't sit there and argue with myself. You know what I mean? I'll sit there and yell at my phone. You know, when, when my phone gets wait goes off and says, wake up, sleepyhead, time to kill the time to get this day, or time to depending on the day I change it up a little bit. But my phone talks to me first thing in the morning. And when it goes off, I get up. The words of encouragement from my AI. Speaking of AI, she's trying to kill me. Workout routine, she's trying to kill me. My phone is trying to, I honestly think my AI is trying to kill me. But anyway, <laughs> so if anybody doesn't hear from me for a couple of days, go check the gym at my, car, at my complex. She might have killed me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if I don't post for like three days, somebody go check in the gym. I might be dead up there and nobody realized it because nobody uses that fucking thing. Sorry, nobody uses that gym. My bad. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be family friendly. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> but anywho. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, routine. Establish one. It frees up so much time. Honestly, it frees up so many things. Because you're not sitting there thinking about it all day. Or, or, you know what I mean? Just bing, 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 bing. All your ducks in a row. I love ducks in a row. So easy to shoot. But anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. Remember... You are all awesome. Every one of you, you, including you, yes, you, and you, and you, and you, I see you too. Um, you're all awesome. You are awesome. You're amazing. That's the other thing too. You over there in the corner. Yeah, you sitting up there in the back. You're amazing also. Um, and if anybody tries to take that from you, they're too toxic. And you need to get them out of your life. You, they need to go. They need to go. I love you guys, and until the next time, peace.